Evil Niner Empire. What's good? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. I'm glad we got the win against the Carolina Panthers. I thought the game would be a blowout. I predicted a 31 to nothing score. We scored 30 points, but we allowed 15 points. But that was a pretty good uh, 49ers defense that we saw today. Only allowed 15 points, one touchdown, two field goals. Uh, they were put in difficult situations because the special teams allowed two big kickoff returns. And whenever your kicker has two tackles, that's never a good thing. And we saw that. Robbie Gold got hurt. We'll get into some other injuries. But 49ers defense was spot on again. Six sacks. Unfortunately, Bosa got hurt. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But um, hey, allowing 15 points, if, if if we take that every week from here on out, I think we'll we'll win a lot of games if the 49ers defense allows only 15 points. Um, the 49ers offense, a little stagnant. Um, I would have liked to have seen, to see more touchdowns, but credit to the Carolina Panthers. They were really getting after Jimmy. They were blitzing him on the edges. They had more rushers than we had blockers. And credit to Jimmy. He he stood in there. He uh, took some shots in the pocket, but he did deliver on some deep throws. He threw a deep pass to Danny Gray, but Danny Gray wasn't able to get separation. There were two guys on him. But uh, hey, Jimmy G, 18 of 30, 253 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, there was an interception that he he, he would have it would have been thrown if uh, the guy would have caught it the defender. But other than that, he did have some throws that he threw behind guys. But but that's Jimmy G. That's just who he is. But he played pretty solid. Eighteen of thirty, two hundred fifty three yards, two touchdowns. That's not bad. Jeff Wilson Jr. Another great game. This this Carolina Panthers run defense was trash. I mean, they allowed average one hundred thirty four yards. Uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. almost had that by himself today. Uh, 120 yards rushing, 17 carries, one touchdown. Uh, his longest run was 41 yards. Jeff Wilson Jr. In, in consecutive games has gotten these long carries. So that's that's definitely good to see. Kittle was targeted early and often. I know he had that fumble. Uh, fortunately, it didn't come back to really hurt us. But Kittle led the team with five catches, 47 yards. Um, uh, E-Man had that incredible touchdown. I, I said before... This game, I thought, hey, the 49ers can get a defensive interception and a defensive touchdown. And that's what came to fruition. I just had a feeling that Baker would struggle. The pressure was getting to Baker, Baker clearly. And the 49ers were able to capitalize. Now, we won this game, but at what cost? So there were a myriad of injuries in this game for your San Francisco 49ers. Jimmy Ward, who just came back from the hamstring injury, he unfortunately suffered a hand injury. I didn't even see when he was in the game, honestly, but it happened really quickly. I think it was in the maybe the beginning of the second quarter when they reported that Jimmy Ward had the hand injury. Bosa unfortunately suffered the growing injury. That was in like the third quarter. Uh, the, the the game had just uh, started from halftime. It was really quickly. Uh, right after halftime, he had that growing injury. Robbie Gold unfortunately has a knee injury. Uh, we don't know to what extent. We'll have to get MRIs this week. That'll be determined later this week. So make sure you stay tuned to the Jay and the Bay YouTube channel. I will be keeping you updated on all the 49ers injuries. E-Man, lower leg injury. He was defending a pass. I'm not sure why he was still in the game. You got a two-possession lead. Why is one of your best corners in the lead, in the game? There was, I think there was like four or five minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Panthers weren't moving the ball downfield. Let's be real. Baker Mayfield was checking the ball down. He wasn't throwing deep. Why you got E-Man in there? It just sucks that you got you have these injuries. Um, fortunately, we have depth at the cornerback position. There's Jason Barrett. There's Ambry Thomas. Samuel Womack, I saw he was playing outside as well. So, um, you know, we won the game. That's great. I thought we would, but we definitely have some injuries. Um, it's, it's every team, every year with this team, there's always injuries. But I'm sure every team could say that. You look at the Chargers. You look at other teams around the NFL, injuries happen all the time. You just got to overcome it. You just got to have good depth. And I think we do have that. But now it's on to them good old ATL Falcons. And that's the latest uh, 49ers news. Niners pick up the victory 37 to 15. But we suffer multiple injuries. Hopefully none of the injuries are too serious where guys are put on IR. But I would imagine, I can only guess, probably... Jimmy Ward, Bosa, Gold, and E-Man, 
I mean, they didn't look good. I'll just say that. Uh, but we'll see what happens as the week goes on. Thanks for watching your boy, Jay in the Bay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Go Niners.